Hey, this is Mike with Cold Fusion Nitrous. Today, we're going to discuss a nitrous regulator, how it works and how to adjust it. As you can see here, the pressure is at 900 PSI, the same pressure that the bottle has in it. For a regulator to start regulating the pressure, the nitrous system has to be activated. I'm going to activate the nitrous system and you can watch how the regulator regulates the pressure. As you can see, the regulator regulates the pressure down compared to the bottle pressure. When the nitrous system is not activated, the pressure is going to return to the same pressure as the bottle. So again, the regulator cannot regulate pressure unless the nitrous is flowing through the regulator. Now to adjust that pressure, if you want to increase the pressure, you would turn it clockwise. Okay, that's half a turn. Now the pressure will be higher. If you need more pressure, turn it another half turn. Do it in increments of one half turn. A nitrous pressure regulator will not increase the pressure higher than what the bottle pressure is. That's not what a regulator is for. A regulator is designed to reduce the pressure so that as you are accelerating down the track, you can keep the same pressure as the bottle dispenses the nitrous. Obviously, the more nitrous you dispense, the, the lower the pressure becomes. This is very important when you're dealing with motorcycles, snowmobiles, jet skis. This regulator allows you to run a lower pressure for a longer length of time, especially, for instance, with a snowmobile the bottle pressure is going to be lower, 600 to 700 PSI. But with the regulator, you're able to regulate that down to 600 PSI, lower than the bottle pressure, so that way your tune-up, your nitrous jetting, stays correct. Otherwise, your pressure's gonna fall, you're gonna have too much fuel, and it's not gonna run correctly. That's why a regulator is so essential in the winter, or when you're using small nitrous bottles. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you cannot adjust the pressure regulator unless your nitrous system is activated and flowing. Okay, you won't know what you've adjusted it to unless you're actually doing it and testing it as you go. So that's three half turns less, so the pressure is going to be lower. If I turn it Let's say one, two, three, four turns tighter, the pressure is going to be much higher. And that's how a nitrous regulator works.